Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is another Google Pixel and today we are going to check out the detailed camera review. So I'm playing with this Pixel XL 128GB white black from almost uh, it's going to be second day now and I've taken almost 800 to 900 pictures so I don't know I just like photography just because of the comparison I have taken a lot of photos and why the other phones are here so guys just to take an idea how the camera performs is always advisable and I do prefer in that way to carry some of the phones too so along with that I have taken pictures for these two this is my one of the favorite all-time point shoot the Lumia 1020 with 41 megapixel this is Nexus 6P is still one of the good camera phone and this is OnePlus 3 just because I've taken because it's so fast in terms of HD and all so just to compare all the stuff here I have taken these phones here and if you want to check out some other camera samples like 4k and all already uploaded a couple of videos so specs wise uh, is again a 1.55 micron improved from the previous generation so all the specs are in the screen you can go and check that out so we'll first take a look on the, some of the internal things like the, how the UI works and all so camera UI to be faster this is Google camera 4.2 already have shown you installed on Nexus 6p in case you have you can definitely go and check it out so I will show you the important points here the first of all the important facts uh, the Google camera now supports 30 FPS and the 60 FPS if you are filming your video in the 1080p mode if you go to the 4k it won't do that the 60 FPS does works fine but uh, I don't know in the night I I noticed that 30 FPS are working great so this is about the video going inside the camera you get all the usual uh, uh, the same previous generations camera but just the grid lines are new here and uh, this is uh, new here you can see all the scene modes are here and except that you are going getting this exposure control here which was came in deputy to as a separate button but now they have moved here also a new feature you can lock the exposure here to just hold on for a couple of seconds you can see get this afa lock so this is about the camera way and one new feature you can just uh, twist it there to turn on the selfie mode hi guys so back in here filming with my nexus 6 so now we'll take a look on the camera samples exactly and some of the video samples too let's go and check out the details we'll start with the first condition the morning in the daylight situation together we'll take here hdr and then non hdr to we'll compare both samples to and I try to take the same images in the morning time and evening, preferably whenever it is possible because sometimes people here are trying to abstract. So here's my review guys. So colors come pretty fine in outdoor shots and I'll talk about indoor later. And things are great and green is perfectly green and the blue and the yellow and the pink and red all comes fine. Especially the flower color I mean, 6P was not great but here you can see it's very great in taking all the things here and green also on the direct sunlight is fine. Not much exposed inside the shadows also it is fine good you can see all the colors are natural what i was seeing with my eyes this is only natural color nothing else and white is not that pure white it's fine but you're seeing here and now we'll take some zoom here so you can see uh, on zooming that there's not a bit of the quality comp compromise looks fine but here i just took some manual tap to focus that's why it happens now we'll see some of the indoor shots so indoor shots are not that great quality wise it's it's good but the color reduction is not that great the color like red is not coming that red and the color of the wall is slightly less pale what we are seeing exactly so here's when we compare that uh, you can see turning on the HDR doesn't do a great job indoor uh, but just a bit more exposed otherwise the dark colors are fine we'll now compare the HDR performance on the outdoor daytime so you can see turning on the HDR makes a picture much better in the outdoor so and zooming also is very great as you can see hdr makes the picture more vibrant here but it's not the case that inside the red comes to be a uh, no, more unnatural now guys time for the low light photography so here again uh, pixel xl i really impress all the videos and images that i have taken they're very super sharp because i have taken four phones in together so i was having a hope and like it, it will take great photograph but yeah it's taking great photograph i must say that so as you can see images are perfectly fine a bit of noise is there that i agree but uh, uh, it's good compared to the other early nexus phones but there's a bit of uh, black dots on the corner images i don't know why now let's see some of the hdr comparison here so you can see in some places hdr does work fine for example if you just zoom it that so hdr it looks pretty great on that otherwise it's perfect difference in what kind of photos you like both works great and especially if you try to make a zoom on the low light too hdr on that case is very great you can see there is very less noise even if you make zoom so it's pretty fine in that case we'll now check some of the indoor low light situations where there's a artificial light so low light also good in terms of indoor light str sometimes does work great depends on color what you're picking again the red color here is not that much great red that i was expecting otherwise it is fine you can see this is comparison with the str to turning on hdr on the indoor doesn't do great job but daytime wise is fine 
We will now see how the flash is effective. Pixel XL has a dual LED flash which does work great even in the darkest situation when there is no light flash does a good job so I don't have any problem it's work great. I have taken a new situation guys I will just take in the motion capture to like I was driving on a bike and I was taking picture my back rider actually not the driver itself so most of the time pictures come fine except a few situation where it takes some blurriness on the object so I really should not be because if you have higher processor but uh, the same happens with all the other phones that I have taken as you can see but otherwise it's fine and no problem at all the only thing I like for the front camera is the HDR on the low light otherwise daytime I didn't see much difference the 6P and other phones works great the OIS was missing definitely on the front side for the video Just I don't want to walk and see, so doesn't much. It's fine. Seven second covered and it's worked great. So this front camera guys and holding two phones together right side me is the Pixel XL. Left is an Pixel 6P. All is really great and Pixel XL looks so much cleaner and brighter compared to the Pixel 6P, which just looks to me a bit dark. So that's the back side here. We flown there. And that's my car right back behind. It's the Hyundai Politic Verna 2014 model. So guys so we have seen all the photos here and this isn't up to you i tried my best to show all the best combinations of taking same object in a lot of conditions sometimes taking pictures in the night morning 2 a.m and night one so so many things are there guys it takes a lot of effort to create and i hope you guys found this video helpful and this is sort of guys and have a great day i'll catch you next video thanks for watching